this map right here. So on this map, there's a lot of new information that you haven't seen yet. First you see an L up here, an H there. The red L represents a low pressure system. The blue H here represents a high pressure system. But then you actually notice that in addition to this blue H and this red L, there's a lot of these little weird looking things. Um, if you are in any of my lecture classes, you've probably already seen these. Um, and if you're not, that's okay. We're going to look at them right now. So what these are called is these are called station models, and they actually have a lot of useful information in them. Um, in the next module in, um, in Investigation 2, we're actually going to go really in depth into these, mod to these models. But for right now, all we're going to look at is the long pole that sticks out of the circle. So right now I'm looking at, this looks like Albuquerque. Um, this is the station model for Albuquerque. Okay, so this is the station model for Albuquerque. Might be Santa Fe. Um, I'm going to go with Albuquerque, though. And what you notice is that this pole sticks out of the circle. The circle has a certain amount of shading in it. And then there's this long pole that sticks out. Now, don't worry right now about the little flag or the, the little barb that sticks out of the pole. Let's just worry about the long pole right now. This long pole actually tells us about what's called wind direction. And as meteorologists, we define wind direction as the direction that the wind is coming from. Do me a favor, if you have a piece of paper next to you right now, double underline in red if possible. Wind direction is where the wind is coming from. Normally when we talk about direction, we're usually talking about what direction something is headed towards. But here, this is the direction that the wind is coming from. And the way that this works is that pole points in the direction that the wind is coming from. And like any map that we see in this class, north is on the top, south is on the bottom, west is on the left, east is on the right. This pole is pointing down and to the right. Therefore, here the winds are coming from south, east. Down is south, right is east. So this is a wind coming from the southeast. Um, so with that said, over here I have another... This one is, I think, for Phoenix, Arizona. And if you take a look, the wind barb is pointing primarily to the east. That means that the wind is coming from the east. Therefore, we are going to call it an easterly wind. It's a wind coming from the east. So again, southeast, that is a southeast wind. Over here, this is pointing down to the left, that's a southwest wind. Again, don't worry about the little barb on the end, just worry about the long pole right now. Just the long pole. And this would be called a southwest wind. Now there are sometimes where the barb looks like it's pointing more down or more up than to the left or to the right. So let me find a good example here. Ooh, this one right here is a pretty good example. Here, the barb's not pointing straight down. It's pointing down, but slightly to the left. That is what we call a south-southwest wind. The wind is pointing, or that, that barb is pointing down, but it's also pointing slightly to the left. That means south-southwest. On the other hand, if it was pointing up and very slightly to the right, we'd call it north-northeast. So you'll see a few of those in the next couple of questions that you encounter. But really, other than that, that's all you need to know about this particular, this particular assignment. Actually, one more thing I'll mention. There's a lot of cities here, such as right here, right here, a few up here as well, where you have a circle 
with another circle surrounding it. You, and, and you notice in these cases, there's no barb sticking out of it. There's no pole sticking out of it. That represents calm winds. At those locations, there are no winds blowing. At those locations, there are no winds blowing. Okay, um, but that's about it. Otherwise, give this lab a try, and please don't hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, that's all for now.